This tutorial will show you all the steps necessary to embed a Voki in a Glogster. To begin with, I've already created a Voki and I'm ready to embed it. Right after you create a Voki, you're taken to this screen and you'll be tempted to use this embed code. But don't use it. Click My Voki. I already have that open in a new tab. When you click My Voki, you'll see all of your creations. And you click the one you want, just click the eye, and it will appear over here on the left. Down here in step one, where it says Embed In, choose Other. And Get Code. When the Get Code window opens, click in the middle to highlight it all and I'm going to copy it. To copy it I'm going to use Control C. Now that I've copied this code I'm going to paste it inside of a document and find the exact code I need to make this Voki as big as possible. Okay now I'm going to find the code that I need and the code I need will start with the word value. Here it is right here, value equals. And then I want this huge URL. Now I'm going to copy that, control C. Go back to my browser. I can close this. I'll put this in a new tab. Now I'm going to paste in that huge URL. And you can see it will open up this Voki as large as it can be. The reason I do this is to have as good a video quality as possible when I capture this Voki. For this next step, we're going to screen capture our Voki, and you will need a little bit of hardware. You need an eighth inch, or it's also called a 3.5 millimeter audio cable that's male on both ends and this will be used to bridge your headphone jack to your microphone jack. So sound will come out the headphone jack right through the cable and right back into the microphone jack. This will ensure the best quality when you are recording. Okay, now that I have my hardware all set up, I'm going to screen record my Voki. Just a note that you can also use Jing at jingproject.com and download Jing and it works great. But for the purposes of this tutorial we're doing it without downloading any software so therefore we're using Screen Toaster. So I created an account with Screen Toaster just so I can save everything that I do and I've already logged in. Now I'm going to click Start Recording. Okay now I'm going to set a few things. I definitely want audio if it's the first time you've done this it will ask you to allow. So now I'm getting a recording level. Yours will be a little bit different. You will not see a recording level going on here because you have your headphone jack going right into your microphone and right now it's probably silent. For this setting I want a rectangular area. When I click rectangular area I have a bounding line that appears and I don't know how big to make it right now. I'm just going to move it out of the way slightly so I can go to my other tab. And that line still appears. And I'll just simply resize it. Okay, that should work. Now I'm ready. So back here on the Screen Toaster screen, you can see it says a shortcut is alternate S to record. So I'm just going to go back to my other tab. I'm going to click alternate S so it will start recording the screen and then I'll click play very soon after that. So here I go alternate S and play. I'll spare you having to wait for this to record and I'll jump right to the finished recording. Now I clicked alternate S again to stop the recording. I'll go back to my other tab. 
and I'm completely done so I will click stop recording and there it is and now I'm ready to put this into Glogster now that I've finished capturing my Vokey I need to save it to my computer the safest way to do this is to save it as a .mov file if your school district has access to YouTube you can also upload it to YouTube and this will embed in a Glogster quite easily but if your district does not allow this then you definitely have to save it as a QuickTime movie. When you click that, it'll give you some sort of warning. Click Proceed. Save it. And now that's saved. It happens to be saved in my Downloads folder. It's saved as a zip compressed archive, and I will need to uncompress it. So I'll go ahead and double click this. extract all files. I'll just leave it where it is. Okay, so now you can see you have a QuickTime movie.mov and you also have a flash.flv movie. You might think that the FLV would work great, but actually the QuickTime movie works better. So this is what I'm going to be using. Okay, so now I'm on Glogster and I'm all logged in. I'll click Create a New Glog. And I'll get rid of all this stuff. Okay, that's enough for now. Now I want to import that video that I just created. Video. You can see a previous one I've done. Okay, so I want to upload my video. Upload. So now I've navigated to the folder that has the movie I want. And here it is. If I want, I can rename this so that I know what it is. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to go for it. Click open. Now at this point, Glogster will be processing this video. This could take a while. I've had it take up to 30 minutes before. So at this point, I'm going to turn the video off and just kind of wait for this to happen and then I'll join you in a minute. Okay, that took about five minutes for that video to load. Now I'm ready to use it. So I'm back in the videos area. I click the video I want choose add a player and I could spend forever deciding what kind of player I want click use it I'll X out of this and here's my video so a quick recap of this process is I created a Voki I got the embed code put it in a document, copied the URL, pasted it in a tab, used Screen Toaster to record it, then uploaded it into Glogster, which takes a few minutes, and then I used it. Okay, I hope this tutorial helps.